you ask me the questions about Amanda. Um, she knows she's innocent. She knows she had nothing to do with this. And having somebody else say innocent is a huge weight on your chest, and that's kind of where she is right now, and she's waiting for that day. I was very, very scared. And she said to many of us, I'm the one that's locked up for a crime that I didn't commit, and I don't spend my days being angry and upset, so nobody else really has the right. I'm the one that has the right to be angry and upset. There's a little bit of fear, but you know, we're hoping if they just look at the evidence um, objectively, it, it, it will be okay. The couple have never spoken to Meredith's family, something they say they want to do. They received um, the worst phone call that any parent could ever receive. Ed and I have a chance with Amanda again as she's still alive. They don't. Until they know that Amanda had nothing to do with the loss of their daughter, with the murder of their daughter, I'm not sure that they would be willing to accept our deepest condolences for the loss of her. And I truly look forward to that day of being able to you know, pick up the phone or talk to them in some manner you know, saying how sorry we are for the loss of Meredith. Yeah, I can't even imagine their pain. I mean, our pain is almost unbearable, but Amanda will be home one day, and, and that's not the case for them.